Welcome back to a new video. In this video, we're diving into the Go Router concept. It's not entirely unique, it revolves around navigation, specifically how we navigate in Flutter from one page to another. However, there's a more convenient way of accomplishing this using Go Router which offers several application advantages over normal custom navigation methods like navigator.push or named routers. Introduced in Flutter 3, Go Router provides a more streamlined approach to navigation within your app. It also facilitates deep linking URL-based navigation, making it easier to move between pages or implement deep linking in applications, including Flutter web applications. Without further ado, let's explore this amazing Flutter package. To start, I'll set up a simple application. The project structure is straightforward, just a basic counter application. We'll create a new folder named Project within the lib folder to maintain our roots. Inside this Project folder, we'll create a Roots folder where we'll have two files, AppRoot configuration.dart and AppRoot constants.dart. Now, back to the main.dart file, where we'll code everything from scratch. First, we'll import material.dart. Then, define a main function which returns run app, setting up our my app widget. In my app, Instead of returning a simple material app, we'll return material app.router. Here, we'll define our routes and other configurations like the theme and debug banner. Two new parameters are required, root information parser and router delegate, necessary for working with Go router. Let's pause here in main.dart and focus on creating our configuration. As the name suggests, we're configuring Go Router with our Material app. Over here, I'm going to create a class, let's call it My App Router. Let's set up some things here. Firstly, we need to include the Go Router package in our pubspec.yaml file. So, in the dependencies section, I'll add Go Router. Now, I can import Go Router, give it a variable name, let's call it Router and create an object of it. Next, we need to pass some parameters to this Go Router object. The first one is Roots, which takes a list. In a typical website, there are various pages like the Home page, Contact Us page, About Us page, etc. So, this Roots list will contain links to these pages in the form of Go Roots. Let's define our first Go Root. We'll name it home, set its path to forward slash, and define a builder for it. This builder will take a context and state and return a material page with the home page as its child. We haven't created the home page yet, so let's do that. I'll create a folder called pages inside the lib directory and create home.dart inside it. In home.dart, I'll define a stateless widget called My Home and return a scaffold with an app bar and a text widget in the body displaying Home. Now, I'll copy this home page setup and create similar pages for Profile, Contact Us, and About. In each page, I'll replace Home with the respective page name. With that, all four pages are ready. Moving on to our app root configuration, I can now import the pages. Now, within Go Router, we have the roots parameter, which takes a list of all the roots defined in our application. Let me add semicolons to finalize this. Now, I'll copy this Go root setup three more times for the other pages profile, about, and contact us each with its respective path and page. Perfect, all four paths are defined. Let me save this. Now, I'll head back to main.dart and create an instance of my app router. I'll copy and paste it here. Set router 
to root information parser and router delegate. Saved. Refreshing the page, I see home as the default route. Typing about takes me to the about page, contact us to the contact us page, and profile to the profile page. Great. Now, if I navigate to a route that's not defined, like user, I see the default error page, but we can customize this. Let's head to app route configuration. In the go underscore router class, we need to provide one more parameter, error page builder. Let's define a context and state and return a material page with our custom error page. I'll create error page dot dart in the pages folder. Copying the setup from home dot dart, I'll rename it to error page dot dart and change home to error page. Now let's return the error page in app root configuration. And there we have it, a custom error page for undefined roots. Let's add a semicolon and we're all set. This concludes the setup. I believe we can simply refresh it and now the error page is also changed. Let's navigate to our home for now. We know how to change the default error page. Okay, not the home, just forward slash, and I'm on the home page. Now, what we've done is we've defined all the names here. However, managing all these names can become cumbersome as the number of routes increases. Imagine having 100 pages, you wouldn't want to list all the names here. Instead, you can have a separate file to maintain all the root names. Let's head to app root constants. I'll define a class called my app root constants. Within it, I can have some static values. For instance, home root name can be set to home. I'll duplicate this for other roots, about root name, profile root name, and contact us root name. I created error root name earlier, but let's exclude it for now. All set. Now, I'll copy this class name, go back to the previous file, and replace the root names accordingly. Instead of hard coding, I'll use my app root constants. Everything seems fine. Let's verify by refreshing. I can type profile, and I'm on the profile root. Perfect. Now, let's discuss navigating between pages using buttons. In the home page, I'll wrap the existing content with a column to add buttons. Each button will navigate to a different page. I'll save and refresh. Now, I have buttons for About Page, Profile Page, and Contact Us Page. However, clicking these buttons won't navigate anywhere yet. To fix this, in the on press event of each button, I'll use go router to navigate to the respective page. I'll use go router push named and pass the root name from my app root constants. Refreshing again, now clicking the button successfully navigates to the corresponding pages. Great! We've implemented navigation using buttons. Let's expand on that functionality. In the home page, when clicking on the About Page button, it navigates to the About Page. Similarly, let's ensure that clicking on the Profile Page button navigates to the Profile Page, and clicking on the Contact Us Page button navigates to the Contact Us Page. I'll copy the functionality for the Profile and Contact Us pages from the About Page and replace the root names accordingly. Saving this and refreshing the app, Clicking on About Page takes me to the About Page, Profile Page takes me to the Profile Page, and Contact Us Page takes me to the Contact Us Page. Perfect. Now, let's discuss passing parameters from one page to another. In the Profile Page, let's accept a username. I'll add a constructor to the Profile Page to accept a username parameter. 
This triggers an error in app root configuration because the profile page now requires a constructor, but we haven't provided one yet. To pass parameters to the profile page, we can use a URL parameter pattern. For example, slash profile slash then colon username. Now, in the profile page, I'll use state.parameters and then inside square brackets username to retrieve the username parameter. Regarding the error due to null checks, we can make the username string nullable, but then we'd need to handle null values. Instead, let's remove the null check and ensure that username is always provided. We've successfully set up passing parameters to the profile page using Go Router. Now, in the home page, when navigating to the profile page, I'll provide a parameter object containing the username. Now, let's enhance the profile page layout. I'll wrap the existing content with a column and add a text widget to display the username. Saving and refreshing, I can now see the username displayed on the profile page. Great! You can see widget wisdom over here, right? So, this works. Now, we know how to pass parameters to our pages. But how can we provide multiple parameters? We can accept multiple parameters by defining them in the root pattern. For example, we can add slash colon user ID to the root pattern and then accept a user ID parameter in the profile page. Let's add this and refresh. Now, in the profile page, we can display the user ID. Another approach is to create an object with multiple properties and pass it as a parameter. However, let's leave that as a homework exercise. So now you know how to pass parameters to your pages using Go Router. This was simple using Go Router.